The car is finished. Drive Tribe's first project car is now fully restored, this Ford Mondeo ST200. Now, many of you have commented asking what the first drive is going to be now that the car looks this good. Well, I literally got the keys back just a couple of days ago, and the first thing I'm going to do is try to max it. This is Kendrew Barracks, the home to one of the longest runways in the UK. So after being completely refreshed, can this 21-year-old Ford hit the top speed that it was quoted with from factory? That number is 144 miles an hour. Let's get down to business. Oh, and for a bit of competition, we've brought along a BTCC team. Halfords has sponsored the entire SC200 build, so it's only fair that we allow them some playtime with their track weapon. This is the 2021 Honda Civic Type R BTCC car, driven by Daniel Rowbottom and Gordon Shedden for the Halfords Racing with Cataclean British Touring Car Championship team. We're talking over 350 brake horsepower, plenty of aero, racing rubber, and brakes that will remould your face. I'm probably going to get completely smoked, but it'll be cool, so. While the Team Dynamics guys are prepping the Honda, let's get a couple of practice runs in the Mondeo. Now, Mr. Robottom may have an entire team of race technicians looking after his car, but I've also got a crack team of road technicians. The Halfords Mobile Expert Van is here to make sure I'm ready to go top speed hunting. And remember, Halfords provides mobile technicians that can carry out all of these services and more at your home and in a completely safe and contactless manner. With 750 stores and garages nationwide and with a Halfords Mobile Expert service covering 75% of all UK households, click the link in the description to see how Halfords can come to your home for your motoring needs. Before we head down the runway, I would like to stipulate that the car is ready for it. The guys at Mad Ford have fully rebuilt this engine and run it in, so it should be good for 144. Mike, great name by the way. What have you done to prep the car today? Okay, so I've checked all your pressures. Yeah. Your wheel nuts are all tight and been torqued. Checked all the levels in the fluids. They're all good and you're good to go. Okay, so do you think it's capable of 144? I'm pretty sure it will. Good luck. It does feel slightly odd that I've not driven this car since November last year, and then the first thing I do in it is try and drive it as quickly as I can down a runway, and what a runway it is. You can not see nowhere near the end of this thing, built as a bomber base back in the day. Okay, let's send this Mondeo to the moon. Three, two, one. Hey, don't worry, we're not just relying on the speedo. We've also got my GPS going here. Just to make sure we're accurate. Four gear. That's 80. 95. 100. 110. We're not going to make it. Hundred and sixteen. That's not enough. Okay, I thought one of the longest runways in the UK was going to be enough. But after that first run, I'm not so sure. So we're heading right back to the start. We left a bit of space on that first run, so I'm gonna go right down the bottom and give ourselves every single chance. Okay, a bit further back this time. Let's give it a bit more beans. Second, come on, come on. Into third. That's 70. 90. Come on. Indicated 100. Come on. It's that fourth gear. Come on, get down there. We're past last time, 120. Okay, 
What a bit quiet there. That was much later on the brakes. And they definitely locked up very slightly. That was a little bit scary, but we're good. 123 miles an hour. Damn it. I genuinely don't think we have the space to do it. It's fourth gear. Fourth gear takes forever. And I'm just shifting to fifth once I get to my braking zone. So we're missing an entire gear of top speed there. I guess once you're up at that sort of speed, the aerodynamic effects of the car are high and 200 horsepower clearly is just not enough to really overcome that over this distance. I'm sure the car would get there, we just don't have the space. So as it stands, 123 miles an hour is the fastest I've driven this car and probably will drive this car. Now, onto the touring car. Dan, you're all ready to go. What are you expecting from this top speed bike? It's not really built for that, is it? No, it's not a top speed car. It's not a drag car. We'll gear them differently for circuit to circuit. I don't know what gear sets in it, but I'm told we'll see north of 140 miles an hour. So it's probably OK. OK, fairly similar to me then. Yeah. And how do you get one of these off the line? Is there a launch control setting? We're not allowed launch control within the regs. So we've got a procedure which involves preloading the brakes, preloading the clutch waiting for the lights to go out and, and hope for the best, really. Um, they are a bit more difficult front-wheel drive cars, for obvious reasons, you'll, you'll suffer that too. So, uh, yeah, you just gotta get your clutch bike point good and, and get enough throttle and away you go. Cool, well, good luck. Thanks, buddy. I can't quite believe I'm looking across at that car. That car has just come back from Brands Hatch from a full British Touring Car weekend. And we've got it here, the 2021 Touring Car. Mental. Come on, Dale. Keep it bent. Okay. I think we're well and truly beaten there. That was insanely cool. Let's get alongside him. <laughs> Daniel's a good lad. I know it was a bit of a demolition, but I hope that race looked as cool as it was being in it. Freaking awesome. So the aim today was to do 144 miles an hour and we've not quite managed it, but I don't put that on the car. We simply didn't have the space. A massive thank you to Halfords and Team Dynamics for bringing their current touring car. If you were to do this with a current Formula One team, they'd turn up with a car that was probably five or even 10 years old. So to have the current top level touring car here has been pretty damn special. 123 will have to do. I've been Mike and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Drive.